Hi everyone. One of my best passions is, without a doubt, making interesting experiments in order to better understand and touch what I have learned in theory. The problem is that, after making these models or electronic circuits, I have to supply them with a specific voltage value according to the electronic component of which they are composed. So I had to look for 24, 15 or 12 volt transformers, sometimes 2 or 9 volt batteries, and sometimes I couldn't even find the right voltage needed. I found on the internet power supplies delivering variable voltages and even currents, but they are expensive. So I decided to make one with components I already have and by buying some necessary models. The first one is a transformer with a rectifier delivering a DC voltage of 36 volt and a current of 5 amps. The second one is a bug converter which I will use to feed a USB port. The last model is this mini volt meter in order to see the selected voltage value and the value of the absorbed current. All that cost me around $20. I show you in this video how I made my own lab bench power supply which gives me a variable DC voltage between 1 and 34 volt with a USB port of course of 5 volt. This model transforms the main voltage 220 volt into a DC voltage of 36 volt 5 amps. This tiny circuit that I made is a voltage regulator whose schematic is as follows. The LM317 regulator allows to vary the DC voltage coming out of the first module. It's interesting to add a USB port to the power box. You can for example power an Arduino card or simply charge your phone by keeping it close to your workbench. USB ports are always supplied with 5 volts. To do so, I will adjust the output voltage of this back converter to 5 volts using a small screwdriver. The mini volt on meter and the fan need at least 12 volt. I then wanted to use a second back converter and adjust it to 12 volt. But unfortunately, I short circuited it in a bad experience. Luckily, I found this 15 volt transformer that I will use to power them. Of course, there are other solutions, but I wanted to use what I had. This volt ohmmeter can measure a voltage between 0 and 100 volt. It has two thick wires and three thin wires. Here is the diagram of its assembly. And here is the final schematic of all the modules and components. The carcass will be a plastic box that I found at home, so I won't have to ground it. After drilling the holes for the display and the socket and other accessories, I glue each module in its place in the box. And that's the job done. Now let's do some small experiments.
It works very well and it will be very useful for many of my experiments. See you soon!